Well, ladies and gentlemen, this right here ultimately broke the gamers, okay? Suckers going crazy right now. You got the homie Dreamcast guy, okay? Going insane. You got Ackman. He got nuclear as well. And <laughs> you got you got Young, yeah. And you know, whenever Young, yeah, comes out, it's over, okay? You got the homie Dreamcast guy. He was angry, man. And you're probably like thinking, like, what happened, right? Like, why are people uh, beefing, 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 beefing? But because, yeah, it's true. Like, gamers are always beefing, beefing, beefing. But the thing is that gamers don't want to beef, but ultimately these pieces of trash out there They're constantly doing this in gaming like the video if you just want a good game man Dislike the video if your mom's gay though, so we're gonna actually get right into this one check this out roll it Bungie what utter disgraceful leadership especially where CEO Pete Parsons is concerned destiny 2 is easily uh -oh, one of the uh -oh. most successful live services and in many ways, it's sort of like the mother of looter shooter live services. And most recently with the launch of the final shape, it's peak and current players got to almost the same numbers as the all time peak. And beyond that, the game has just been doing really well. Critic this is highway robbery. Just wait for it, guys. This is highway robbery. You got woke ass Concord game right out there that is having a tough time breaking 2,500 players, damn it. 2500 players damn it and this game had it all this game had it all you got hell divers right that game was doing good and what does sony does sony kills that game sony kills that game sony bans that game in 170 plus countries we all had that drama a couple of months ago yeah it's been a couple of months right oh shit, oh shit. man Man, and now they're back at it again, but ultimately this is not necessarily like Sony's fault directly I know my Xbox Andy's out there doing helicopters right now, but guys don't do it man Next up you probably know man Phil Spencer is gonna come out and then Dreamcast guy is gonna be like fire the liar So yeah guys uh, stop your roles man stop your roles Sony ponies Xbox Andy's we all gotta come together Okay as a brown man I demand for PlayStation and Xbox both of these suckers to make online for free like the video if you agree roll it Critically speaking, the final shape was very well received, sitting at an 89% generally favorable score from critics and even from users. It's been received favorably by all metrics. The final shape was a huge success, and by all metrics, the developers, the you know people who made the game, should be rewarded. But instead, we're seeing yet another round of layoffs, and this is despite the uh, fact. I, I mean, they got rewarded by getting fired. Bumbaka! They got yeah. I'm yeah. I'm not joking. They they got rewarded by getting fired. This this yeah. Apparently the gaming guys, gaming industry. This is what happens. You got woke ass games, microtransactions, unfinished messes. Okay, no single player games anymore because it is not what the people want. Live service my ass. Okay, you got woke ass stuff like I talked about it, right? And then firing the devs, firing the devs, ultimately banning your games in countries <laughs> and let and making sure that gamers pay for online you gotta pay for online you gotta pay for online even if you got pc you gotta sign up for the playstation network for the xbox live goal upping the prices of the video games okay raising increasing the price of prices of game pass out there yeah ultimately this is this is what guys um this is not even my opinion this is not even my opinion this has been reported this is what's going on in gaming these are the headlines that are just fitted right now yeah this just happened this just happened prices going up game games declining right that bungie leadership assured back in 2022 when it was acquired by playstation and sony that this would not result in layoffs or restructuring except that's precisely what's happened back in 2023 there was mass layoffs at bungie yeah. that left everyone shocked especially <laughs> because of past promises yeah. and now we're seeing another round of that with this announcement uh -oh. from july check this out okay so i want to show you guys the the homie dreamcast guy he went bozo okay roll this what up gamers dreamcast guy here and today we're talking about playstation and the state of bungie because yeah. the last 24 hours have been incredibly chaotic for a lot of sony and playstation fans because of the mass layoffs and i did a video yesterday kind of reacting to the news because uh -huh. i am just understandably upset yeah it feels yeah. like the gaming yeah. industry is in such a pathetic state yeah. people are making games some of them are selling great but we're seeing 
mass firings. We're seeing more games come out rushed or broken or sometimes just filled with microtransactions only to see them instantly get shut down. Yeah. And I feel like Damn. my frustration is something a lot of us can feel. I can tell by the comment section and stuff that people are just as upset as I am. But yeah. this mess with Bungie, it's much more complicated. The uh -huh. last 24 hours, I think we realized that Bungie has it's been over. lying. They've been lying it's to over. PlayStation, they've been lying to fans, and they've even been lying to their own freaking employees. But let's discuss. Hi, hope you're having oh, a great man. day. Come on, man. Somebody's getting fired and you're asking for likes out here. Come on, <laughs> man. Damn, homie. All right, like the video. Just like the video. Like the video. And Bruh. if you could, please give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. This is probably going to be a pretty long video because I have a lot to say. I've got a lot of slides and stuff to go through. And to be honest, I'm just frustrated because this just keeps happening. Everybody is just doing so much restructuring, so much mm. firing, so much just, just talking sec. about missed financial goals instead of just making good games. So yesterday when this got tweeted out, I initially said this sucks, you know, for obvious reasons. But now we have a lot more of people calling specifically for a gutting of leadership. The head of the company yeah. itself, Pete Parsons, uh, apparently this guy is a real gigantic piece of garbage. These people here are ex-employees. These are community managers. These are developers and yeah, stuff CM. who have spent years and years of their life dedicated to the Bungie brand, and they've been blowing the whistle that <sighs> apparently Sony's just been trying to get Bungie in line, and Bungie has been straight up lying. They claimed they're not going to do mass layoffs and just fire everybody, and that's exactly what they did, but actually, even in their own statement, they've lied. So, when they tweeted this out yesterday, it didn't have a community note, and now it does. Uh, okay. This community note, which they show screenshotted here in a second, shows how misleading they're being representative. They said they were going to fire 17% of the workforce. Oof. It's actually 35% of the entire studio has now been... So they said they're going to fire 220, but they fired almost like double. So 450 is the estimated... Damn... So 450 souls apparently departed, like they, 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 they fired them, my bad, my bad guess. They fired them. Uh, 450 souls got fired off the project. Got it, because they're also moving a bunch of people over to other projects. Which means that for the people that got fired and the people that are now being absorbed into PlayStation Studios, it sounds like anything you could possibly hope about the future of Marathon or Talks of Destiny 3, I yeah, think the company go. is about to either cease to exist or be completely absorbed into it's PlayStation. Over. In fact, it's there over. are rumors this has Ooh. already happened. So the head of PlayStation is Herman Holst. This is a guy yeah. who's worked at a bunch of different studios. He's done a lot of stuff. He's the main dude behind Horizon Zero Dawn and stuff like that. This dude definitely knows what he's doing. Well, the rumor is that he is running Bungie. Now, this comes from a lot of different sources. People like Jeff Grubb, a lot of journalists and stuff have chimed in that apparently... You think it's over? Or you think it's over? Or you think there's, there's like, a little chance? Let, let me know your thoughts. I mean... I didn't necessarily, I don't necessarily, and I didn't necessarily heard anything bad about Herman Hulse. I think he's good, but it's like, how many times this guy is gonna be, gonna be, you know, working out with, or how many times, how many times he's gonna manage, essentially? Because it's only like one single soul. How much can he handle, bro? Like the burden keeps on piling up, man. Like, damn, bro. Like they need, there needs to be, other, and the funniest story, or I should say the saddest, but it's still kind of funny it is sad and it's pathetic this was the guy the uh, 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 reportedly allegedly because i was not there but they're saying this was the guy that was uh, apparently you know managing it and bungie ceo pete parson reportedly spent over 2.3 million dollars buying classic cars after the sony acquisition oh, oh. so back when sony acquired it like this second okay went crazy he started spending, he started like, uh, you know, flying with the Benjis. He's like, okay, let me, let me buy this car, let me buy that car, let me buy this, let me buy that. And man went berserker, right? Ultimately went bozo. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, yo, can a brother get two pennies? Yo, two penny gang squad up. Too many, two penny gang <laughs> rise up. Two penny is not too many, okay? We need more than, more than two penny, but for now, all I need is two pennies, guys. Herman Holst is stepping in to try and save Bungie from Bungie. And this is just outlandish to me. The fact that 
PlayStation acquired yeah. Bungie for billions of dollars, and they straight up said, this is going to be a Sony studio. The way that Sony owns PlayStation, Sony runs PlayStation movies, there's the, or sorry, Sony movies, which is Sony Pictures, Sony makes phones and stuff like that. So the idea was always yeah. the fact that yeah, yeah. Bungie would be autonomous. Bungie would be this separate individual that would make money on all different platforms. You would actually see the fact that they would have Destiny on PC, on Xbox, on PlayStation. They would have it every way they could possibly make extra cash, as long as they can kept hitting their financial goals that were set by Sony. So I think what's pretty obvious is that Bungie has been over-promising. I think there's a good bet about the fact that Bungie has claimed they would make way more than they actually did, and as they continue to fail to meet these financial expectations, they're getting absorbed. They're getting pushed into PlayStation because they just don't know how to actually run themselves. And to me, I do think this sucks because I think that more than anything else, these firings are not just a you know what at the end of the day like who's winning right now the ceos right like they're getting all the money okay they're getting all the money and they're just flying away <laughs> they're just leaving it with the monies uh, and, and you also got uh, activist groups like sweet baby inc so they're they ruin projects they ruin games right we, we have been seeing that uh, and we have seen that with many many games so they're out there they ruin the game and ultimately, there are some studios that get shut down, like the uh, uh, Saint, Saints Walk, Saints Row, right? So they had to shut down, and there were there happened. Uh, there are other stories as well. They ruin a project. They get paid for. Imagine getting paid for ruining somebody's project, bro. I can't, brother. I'm about to repent now. I'm about to go repent now, bro. I'm about to go pray right now, bro. Like it, it's just wild to me, right? So yeah, they get paid to <laughs> ruin the project, and ultimately, there's the next studio in line. They say that yeah, come here, bro. Come here, ruin our project too, and get paid for it. Bruh. Like y'all suck as at that point, y'all suckers deserve it, right? With that. But of course, in this situation, you got the CEO just spending 2.3 million on classic cars after Sony acquisition. So you must have seen like a, a money coming in like a tsunami or something like that, bro. Right? Clear Damn, sign money. of bad leadership. I think they're a sign about the fact that corporate greed in the entire game industry is getting ridiculous. It is getting Absolutely. so unmanageable. This is yeah. the CEO of Bungie, and he spent $2.3 million Sheesh. on classic Sheesh. cars after the acquisition, and this is ridiculous. IGN reported last fall that Bungie said, hey, are you going to take any pay cuts from the CEO or other people to try and manage the crisis? And they said, nope, we're no. not that type of company. No. The CEO, <laughs> the executives, the people at the top are refusing to do anything to actually help the employees. They fired Holy. 220 people Holy. yesterday. And I read their whole statement in a video, but I'll be honest, I hate the fact that they're like, oh, these people are so important. They're they're so vital. Oh, well, you know, they're so important that we had to fire them. Just absolute dog pile response right there, man. Dog crap response there. They, these people are so important, but OK, if these people are important, why are you firing them? Huh? Why are you firing them? Huh? Th that don't even make sense. buddy. Maybe it would actually be worth just not buying as many classic cars if mm. it actually mm. meant you got to mm. keep your employees. Mm. This is so insane to me because you could have spread that money across the gaming community, brothers, or something like that. You should you could have gave that money to me as well, bro. Like, like, <laughs> like. Like, what, what, what are we talking about, bro? Like, you could have given that money to me, bro. And then I could have, like, made a Mr. Beast type video, like, if you like the video, you win $1 million type bowl squash, something like that, man. I could have given away, or I could have made a video, like, if you change your gender, I give you, like, a million dollars, like I was some Mr. Beast, right? Yeah, yeah, we could have done something like that, bro. Like, damn, man. Like, that's a missed opportunity right there, bro. Missed More than anything else, this is going to screw PlayStation. It's going to screw Bungie. It's going to end this because there has been an experiment done by Nintendo where they have done their absolute best to not fire people. Uh, like, uh, this guy is slightly misquoting here, when the Wii U completely bombed, you know, this is like 10 years past at this point, the, the CEO, Satoru Iwata, the head of Nintendo, took a 50% salary cut to yeah. make sure he didn't fire anybody. And Crazy, you know what? Huh? It was a huge success. Iwata made sure they made the Nintendo Switch. It was a gigantic bounce back. And I Yeah, nowadays they don't make these type of CEOs, man. Like this guy, respect, brother. Respect. I gotta take a moment to Don DeMarco real quick, man. Like, damn, man, they don't make no... Uh, God doesn't make those type of CEOs no more. At least in the West, man, those uh, CEOs don't exist, man. Like, salute to this brother out here. Damn, homie. Like, imagine, right? Like, he cut his own 
a salary so he doesn't fire or other people don't get fired essentially right so we can keep them around and you know what let's let's gang up right now let's a uh, brotherhood yay let's gang up right now let's actually make sure the next product that we put out is good so we make money and ultimately we, we, make, we gotta make good products we make money and ultimately nobody then would get fired right so this is what he did and i, I and of course like in the long run he must have gotten uh, the, the success and the fruits of his labor, right? And uh, the 50% the, the salary cut that he had at that time, I'm pretty sure like he's seen tenfolds that after the fact. Deservingly so. Deservingly so, if that's true. I, I don't know, but like, damn, homie. I feel like stuff like this completely sticks in a lot of people's mind because this is what good leadership is about. I'm obsessed with Iwata. A lot of people are. He wrote a very good book. Uh, it's like all these little stories and vignettes about how he makes games and his philosophy and stuff like that. And something he talked about the fact is that... Okay, bro, I, I don't know about this one, man, but every time there's like a PlayStation topic, he brings like a PlayStation controller. Every time there's like Xbox news, he brings a, 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 an Xbox controller. And today he brought the book up as well. Like, bruh. Not that W, man. W, man. W that you got a book, but damn, homie. Like, damn, man. Nintendo invests in the future via <clears throat> developers. By mm. making people feel safe and secure mm. and trusted mm. and happy, you're going to have more legacy talents. If the mm. guy that's making your game, like Pokemon or something like that, has their generations and generations, he's there able to train his replacements, to get extra team members, to show them tricks and art and ideas so they can all grow and evolve. It makes yeah. the games better. It makes the games cheaper because your people are better at quicker at learning the engine and stuff like that. And more than that, it makes the people that actually work there want to stick around. Yeah. I despise the fact that so many of these companies now are like, okay, this guy deserves to have eight billion dollars but everybody else sorry you gotta take a hike because you're not hitting our made up imaginary freaking financial goals this greedy jerk said the exact same thing about the layoffs they did nine months ago and he's saying it again today bro just cares about money and continues to prove he has zero regard for yeah. his well-being of employees f pete parsons this is something i honestly did not know about but it, it is wild that these are truly talented people if you have openings i would highly recommend each and every one <laughs> Oh my god, bro. This guy is crazy. He's like, these people are very talented, but I don't want them, man. I don't want them. If you have if you have openings, hire these folks, okay? I recommend them. These are very good employees. I don't have money though to give it to them. So you gotta give it to them, man. Yeah, go there, man. Go there. I right, I'm out of doses. Okay, I wanna show you what the homie Young is said. Youngin! Sony acquisition. A young out uh, would have sounded weird, so that's why I said young in. That that also sounds weird, but oh, whatever. Roll. Bungie CEO Pete Parsons spent over two point three million dollars buying classic cars. This wasn't covered the same day he made a statement saying they laid off two hundred twenty employees because the company has been dealing with financial challenges. <laughs> if there is anything that highlights the disparity between executive pay, especially the captain who is failing the ship, who is leading the ship astray into an iceberg, versus the developers who are doing successful work, it's this right here. This guy buys classic cars like one would buy magic cards for a commander deck. So this is something that has been covered by numerous outlets, but the one who uncovered this was Twitter user Taylor here, who's actually someone who works Insane, on Valorant, man. and it is stated right here, Bungie lays off 17% of its workforce. Oh, and unrelated, here's a list of cars the CEO has purchased on BAT. And going to the website, you can see- Holy, we got the list as well? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No way. Say you swear to God, bro. Yo, I'm about, to, I'm about to quit right now, bro. I'm about to go repent now, bro. I'm going to I'm about to go pray right now, bro. Like, what? So he bought the 1961 Chevrolet Corvette 283 for speed. Uh, 12 bits for 91 grand 500. Okay, 91,500 US dollars on June 1st, 2024. No, res no reserve. 1966 Ford Bronco Roadster. Oh, no. Okay, that's a beautiful car right there. That's a beautiful car. See right here that this is in fact Pete Parsons' account, and you can see right here all the auction wins that we've seen throughout the past few months and years, and you can see the kind of money that Pete Parsons is spending on these cars. The latest being uh, this 1961 Chevrolet Corvette 283 four-speed. Uh, he spent $91,500 on this on June 1st, 2024. Over $60,000 on this car. Over $33,000 on this one. $201,000 on this Porsche. $79,000 on this, and you can show more here, and the yeah. list just goes on. On and on when you can be so comfortable with spending money bro was getting ready for a gta online dlc you know what i'm saying <laughs>
<laughs> you know, he was uh, he was getting ready for an update, or or I should say, he got the GTA Online update, man. Holy crap, man! Like brother thought that he was just spending some shark card money out here haphazardly like this you know you are like disgusting rich and you have like fuck you money and mm. by the way this mm. is something that the ceo would flaunt at times in front of employees so liana rupert here this uh, is a tweet published on july 31st 2024 after the layoffs was reported talked about how there was one point uh, during her time at the company at bungie where pete pete parsons walked right up to us and bragged about a few new expensive cars he bought and that we should come to his house and see them and then liana hints that there's just so much about pete parsons that we don't know about that she's been trying to uncover and dig through and i get the sense that sooner or later Pete Parsons will get what's coming to him, stating here, then I started digging and I have not stopped digging since October. There's yeah. so much more to this that won't come out for a few more years to protect people, but I just want to say this, this falls squarely on leadership. There's this one meme that has been spreading that is pretty much the summary of the state of the games industry right now. Uh, this uh, Parks and Rec meme, but instead of go to jail, it's you're fired. Worked on a mediocre game, you're fired. Worked on a critically acclaimed game, believe it or not, also, yeah, fired. also fired. I mean, yeah. I mean, just recently, Xbox and Microsoft decided to shut down Tango Gameworks mm -hmm. despite producing one of the most critically acclaimed and financially successful enough game. He right though. He right though. I mean, studio shutdowns, even even if uh, people get laid off, studio shutdowns, even if the game turns out to be good. More often than not, it's usually when the studios don't do good or the games don't do good. But sometimes this can also happen, guys. This can also happen, but I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video or not, man. Mr. Beast drama has been absolutely nuclear. He is suing everybody right now. He's suing everybody. He's going crazy right now. Somebody stop this man. Uh, somebody stop this man because he has been accused of fake videos, uh, scams, frauds, uh, scam, fake giveaways and all that, right? I'm not sure if you guys heard this or not. Yep, this is uh, what's going on right now. Of course, Chris Tyson's situation is another one. Check this video out if you have not. If you have already seen it, then check out the video on the left.